Hi there, good morning and welcome to today's products in focus. Well, the FOMC last night kind of changed things up a little bit uh, by giving a very dovish statement. Um, lower interest rates for longer is pretty much the uh, the rhetoric. Um, we've seen a, a massive bounce back in most global equity markets and the dollar's taking a bit of a short-term bath. We'll come back to that in a second. Um, US 30 now bouncing around potential resistance at 69.89. Uh, um, next potential resistance at 17,075. Though we've not had much follow through first thing this morning. So we had this massive resurgence yesterday and this is a bullish engulfing pattern on the candlestick. Um, candlestick side but we've not really followed through so far so um, 69, um, 69 probably is going to be a relatively strategic uh, move uh, obviously we talked about the Dow being relatively top heavy yesterday um, technicals still show room for, for manoeuvre and it's very interesting that we're just not getting that big push further forward uh, today so I think uh, the next couple of hours are going to be quite interesting for most global markets so moving on to the UK 100 not quite a, a a bullish engulfing pattern. Again, we've actually sunk a little bit today um, uh, off yesterday's uh, high point. We actually finished pretty much bang on the high. Again, looking a little bit top heavy. So it does maybe feel a little bit more temporary uh, looking at some of these chart formations than, than anything uh, completely significant. Even looking at Japan 25, obviously got that short term boost in the back of the FOMC, only to reverse course as dollar yen also took a tumble. So when the yen started to strengthen, uh, the Nikkei took a bit of a hit as well. Japan 25, sorry. So next potential support. 15488 and technical still show room for maneuver to the downside we are trading below both moving averages as well so looking at that dollar yen position um, again looking pretty top heavy actually looking at it from a daily perspective we've broken through some levels of potential support um, you're probably looking at our 10740 as a potential support level uh, which we have broken resistance. Let's just say 107 spot 43. So we've probably got a, a little bit further to drop on on dollar yen if this conforms to the ordinary technicals. <clears throat> Obviously, a lot of technical indicators are already in free fall from um, this kind of high, high ridge that we had there at the start of October. Um, and we are currently trading at the bottom of the range. So um, perhaps there is uh, just a couple more points to come before we get to test that first level of support and see the conviction in that dollar weakness. So moving on to uh, West Texas crude, um, it continued to move lower, actually hitting an intraday low yesterday of $87. Uh, the next potential support is 85 spot 65. Um, again, we're we're a little bit away from that potential broken support now acting as resistance at 89, uh, but we are getting there right now. So um, even though we did have a bit of a bounce, uh, obviously, if the dollar is coming off a little bit, that should be supporting commodity prices ever so slightly. You would have thought that if interest rates are going to be staying lower for longer, that crude oil West Texas would get much more of a bounce because obviously it's a global demand play right now. And people are still very concerned about um, the slowdown in the Eurozone, slowdown in China and everything else. So uh, we're not really getting that much of a, of, of a strong bounce. Looking at gold, gold should be having a good time, uh, which it is indeed Broke, breaking through uh, potential resistance at 1218. Um, I guess now we have to start looking back historically now, probably the next potential level that we could uh, highlight here is a broken support from back in June, um, around about um, 12.40. Um, so that could be the next potential level. We are now trading above the 21 period SMA, and we're, we're moving forward with, the, with a, little bit of a, uh, a little bit of momentum there as well. So we're in the middle of two ranges. Now you want gold, if you're bullish in gold, you want gold to stay above 12.18. Uh, it's uh, certainly ac acting as a springboard to rechallenge 12.42. Um, and yeah, certainly gold looks like it's doing okay today as well. I'll be, it probably will be quite volatile over the next couple of sessions. So Euro dollar has completely surged past 127 spot 40, um, uh, 46. Uh, the next potential level we could be looking at uh, could be this broken support right here in about 128.61. I'm just going to go ahead and draw that on there just now so we can get a bit of a flavor uh, of how far we are. So we look like we might be capped at 21 period SMA. It's not happened yet, but uh, one spot 27.46 will be the springboard or will be uh, the strong that put the candles back with the euro dollar. So it's obviously got a lot of uh, a lot of way to recover uh, if this is a, a significant step change or not. Um, but certainly we have broken through two potential resistance levels uh, in two sessions, so there is certainly a little bit of momentum 
behind that. And we finish up with GBP USD, similar story, um, bouncing through uh, one spot 6009, uh, looking to be rechallenging one spot 6265 as the next potential resistance, and that's also the 21 period SMA. So economic data wise, we do have the UK interest rate announcement, which is widely expected to stay the same, uh, staying low for longer. And we've got US jobless claims today at 1.30 as well. Make sure you've got your alerts set for that. Fast forwarding onto Friday, we don't have a huge amount of, uh, of data on there, but obviously after the FOMC last night, uh, most people will be looking to the um, US data to see if there is momentum in that economy or not. And certainly the last series, the last load of figures that we've seen have been pretty strong. So it's all very good and well. The FOMC saying that they want to be as dovish for as long as possible, but they also uh, tie themselves into certain uh, macro data events as well. So um, it'll be interesting to see how that pans out. Make sure you keep an eye on the chart for make insights part of your layout going forward and join me again. Uh, on Monday, unfortunately I'm not in tomorrow uh, to find out what happened next. Take care, bye bye.